Hey, today we honor Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole. He was Hawaii's first delegate to Congress and the father of the Hawaiian Homelands Commission Act. And as KITV 4's Paula Akana shows us, he was also a surfer who left his mark on the surfing world. In 1885, nearly three decades before Duke Kahanamoku wowed them with his surfing skills, three Hawaii princes, including Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole, were riding West Coast waves. He was a surfer, as they all were, and I mean, brought it to the world, brought it to Santa Cruz. I mean, during a break from military school, they vacationed in Santa Cruz and rode the waves. The three, Kuhio, David Kavananakoa, and Edward Kili'i Ahonui, are honored with a plaque in Santa Cruz that credits them with introducing surfing to the area. Well, Author Kristen Zambuka the led the efforts to have the Princely Brothers honored. First, they went up into the mountains, got the boards cut to their own dimensions, took it to the Grover Lumber Company, cut the boards, rode the waves. Zambuka and many others believe this is the very board Kuhio used for the Santa Cruz surfing sessions. It was among items bequeathed to Bishop Museum by Kuhio's widow. Made of redwood, more than 17 feet long and weighing 175 pounds, it's enormous. I really can't even imagine uh, even Prince Kohio being um, the, the person that we know him to be to carry that all by himself to, 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 the, to, to the water. I mean, it takes, it takes some strength to actually paddle out anyways, so you get a workout when you, bring the board, when you pick up the board, drag it to the shore, and then actually get into the water. Then you got to do a little more paddling. Yeah. Termites and insects devoured some of the board. Conservation work is being done to prepare it for an upcoming journey to the Santa Cruz Museum of Art and History for an exhibit, Shaping History, the return of the royal surfboards that commemorates the 130th anniversary of the Hawaiian Prince's royal ride. But Kuhio's surfing safari didn't stop there. Just five years later, Kuhio and David introduced surfing to Europe while they were attending school in Britain when they surfed the waters of the North Sea of Britain. Bridlington Beach. The proof came in this letter, just discovered in recent years. On September 22, 1890, Kuhio wrote to Hawaiian Consul Henry Armstrong, quote, The weather has been very windy these few days, and we like it very much, for we like the sea to be rough so that we are able to have surf riding. We enjoy surf riding very much and surprise the people to see us riding on the surf. Rumor has it they even got this man, their tutor. John Wrightson to catch a wave. Prince, politician, and surfer. Just another interesting facet to the man we honor today. Paula Akana, KITV4 News.